It's time! Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach as well. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Van Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Iron. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Hong Kong. The Apex! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Both guys throwing potential fight-enders here in the early going. Checks the leg kick. You got him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw it. That was the right time. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. 
Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this. I'm exhausted trying to call all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, I hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> Ooh, head kick lands. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And now he's got the tie punch. Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Single collar tie now. And now he's got... All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Dig in, dig in. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Huge block there. Just missed with the left there. Nice counter right hook there. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, getting fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's gonna be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? Nice punch, man. Oh, that's a good right hand. How about that chin? Whiffs on that offering. Just a slip there. Nice hit. Some nice back and forth action here. Another shot lands upstairs. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And he landed the right hand there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, that right hand is on point. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. Head kicks upon head kicks, man. I mean, generally, you don't take this many head kicks. Right. You get one, and you go to sleep. But he's been able to withstand it. But I'm telling you, man, he takes one more, and he takes one more clean. His night's over. All right, here we go as our next round gets okay, underway. Right, right, that was some right. serious precision striking on display in the previous round. Found his openings upstairs and closed the show. He has landed at an alarming rate. His opponent needs to get his head off the center line. He's walking into him with his head straight up, not moving, trying to engage without changing the angles. That is why he is getting brutalized right now. 
Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into this strike. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so that he can land that beautiful left hand. Huge knee lands from in close. Oh, big punch land. Oh, single collar tie here. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Right hook to the head blocked. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate, so educated, he's so able to fight for both fighting stands. Well, you gotta think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking point. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. <laughs> Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Big head kick land. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Beautiful head kick. Punches blocked. And there comes the separation now. A little single collar tie there. Good body shot. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, single collar tie now. Just misses there with the left. Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. in a single collar tie. Beautiful body push. Straight punch land. 15 seconds remain in the round. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure 
they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kicks, leg kicks, body kicks. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Oh, collar tie. Oh, that's a nice strike. Liver kick. Well, just as he... Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. the punch. Nice. nice connection with the punch there. It's hard to... Oh! What a bad... Oh! Back to the feet. Whoa! Oh, big knee. knee there. That knee hurt him. Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. Huge elbow there. News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Good stick. And landed some nasty strikes. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Immediately gets the underhook. Big knee lands to the body. There's no give on that leg kick. Three minutes to go in round three. And he... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent very bad. Both guys landing with conviction now. A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night, he found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 10 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.